But the fundamentals are we don't want to give commands directly until after she's conditioned to be with us because it's just going to be resisted. The whole point of commands is we want to, who knows the story of the Trojan horse? Okay, things like weasel phrases and quotes and conversational frameworks, they allow, they're Trojan horses that allow us to sneak those commands and suggestions inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. A good pattern is a delivery vehicle for suggestions and commands. That's one of the rules of a good pattern. It's a delivery vehicle for suggestions and commands. Does that make sense? One of the tools by which we make that Trojan horse are these weasel phrases. Weasel phrases basically talk about someone else's experience so it's not so threatening to her. Does that make sense? Yes? Does it make sense to you? All right. So a person can, people can, a woman can, and the commands are very simple. Imagine, here's one of your assignments. I want you to use these words, imagine, feel, do, think, allow, permit, and what I'm going to have you do is break up into groups of three and come up with some commands just using these basic words. Imagine, feel, do, think, allow, permit. Write these down. And you at home as a homework assignment, write down imagine, feel, do, think, allow, permit. And then think of the feelings or the processes you'd like a woman to go through and create some commands. I'll give you some examples. Think those thoughts. Feel horny. Feel ready. Allow that to happen. Allow yourself to get turned on. Allow yourself to take action tonight. Does that make sense? Allow yourself to go for it, Debbie. Does that make sense? This is going to be the assignment. We're going to take like 10 minutes to come up with commands. We'll break up into groups of three and do this. Uh, we need a microphone for, for Tom. You at home... I want you to do this too. So remember, remember the metaphor of the Trojan horse. We're going to sneak these commands and suggestions inside what appears to be a normal conversation by setting it up with these weasel phrases. Does that make sense? Yes. Is it very important to use the command tonality for the actual command, or can you just say We're going to talk about command tonality in a moment. Okay. All right. The way it works... He asked a good question. Hold that question for a minute. I'll get to it in one minute. Do we understand this assignment? Yes. We're not going to do it yet, but we will. Do we understand what commands do? Commands and suggestions set the brain moving in a certain direction, yes? And they also cause certain feelings and certain mental processes to happen and to take place. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Do we understand? Do you understand? All right. And then we have suggestion. Suggestions always start with the words it's or that's. Okay? One way to tell the difference between a command and a suggestion is suggestions, commands start with some kind of verb, do, feel, think, allow. Suggestions start with it's, that's, or that's. It's happening, that's happening, that's taking place. That's what's occurring. It's occurring, it's happening. I'm going to keep it really simple for you, okay? I'm going to keep your suggestions limited to the following phrases. It's happening, it's occurring, it's taking place, it's on. We'll limit it to those. I'm going to make it really simple. You at home, here are your suggestions. It's happening, it's taking place, it's occurring, it's on. And we're going to, as far as possible, we're going to do our suggestions after we do commands. We're going to try to do commands before we do suggestions, right? So let's say I'm giving, so it's happening, it's on, it's occurring, it's taking place. That's happening, that's on, that's occurring, that's taking place. Those are your suggestions. You're not going to use any more than that. We'll keep it really simple. 